So, the uh, letter D was up and the word is destination. And um, I decided to work with this little canvas, which is about six by six inches, I think, maybe a little less. And uh, the first thing I do is uh, using some decoupage paper. It's a kind of tissue paper. Um, and I'm gluing that down with this art medium by churning. Uh, I damaged a little bit on uh, the bottom of the canvas, but um, it's going to be covered up for most of it anyway. So that was not that big of a problem. And now I'm giving it a gesso wash. So I'm adding some gesso with a baby wipe. So it's a kind of a wash. Uh, this is the texture paste, the modeling paste by Amsterdam. And I'm using a palette knife and um, adding some texture to the canvas in a horizontal uh, pattern, really because I had this little idea in my mind of doing a, a little boat and uh, some water. And so I wanted to be the texture in a horizontal line. Also using my crackle paste from Golden. And I have to say this crackle paste was almost completely dried out. So I put uh, something in a little cup and I smashed it with a palette knife and it got a bit softer again and it was the perfect texture for me that I wanted on this um, canvas. So don't throw anything away, even if you think you, can use, you can't use it anymore. Um, so I, I kept this uh, art, this crackle paste, even though I knew it was dried out and it still had a purpose, as you can see. I love the texture on this canvas and also it did give me some crackle as well. So now I'm going to add the water and I'm doing that with the liquid text ink. It has a little pipette and I add a little bit on the canvas and sprayed it with water. Um, uh, it, I, I did find it a bit too harsh, too bright. So I uh, using, used a baby wipe to tone down the blue a bit. But uh, with adding that color, you can uh, really see the texture I created with the texture paste and the crackle paste. Um, using the same liquid text ink again uh, in another color, a kind of green, and um, for a bit of um, variation in the blue, it's the sea after all. And this is um, a piece of very thin uh, wire I, I got somewhere and I'm, I'm, I don't know where I got it. And I took a little piece off and uh, gluing it down with the art medium. So that will be the kind of the waves really. And I decided to make the boat with uh, some ephemera that I had, um, old letters and old envelopes that had some stamps on them as well. So I thought that would be nice to create the boat. And I'm just using my ruler um, so I can get a bit of rough edges uh, to create uh, the, the pieces of the boat really. And then I am going to glue everything down with the art medium as well. Just remember to check uh, my description box below this video because I will leave you a link to the Mike Deacon uh, Mission Inspiration Facebook group if you like to play along. Um, here I am adding some scribbles, kind of a script writing. I'm not writing anything really, but um, uh, I did that with an acrylic paint, which I put in a little needle bottle. And, and now I am using an archival ink, the coffee one and um, the foam, a little piece of foam uh, and the blending tool to um, uh, create a bit of the of shadow and crunchy look on the on the edges. 
And then I'm going to glue down my little boat. And as I said, I'm using the, the same art medium uh, for this. It's, it's, uh, it's a good glue. Uh, it, it's just that it's staying uh, a bit sticky uh, for a while. Now I had planned to use some black thread for the for the boat for it, for the sails for with the sails, but that didn't work all that well. So I I ended up picking a, a, a toothpick really, and I colored it black with a Faber Castell artist pit pen, and then uh, glue it down onto my boat. And this is the Stazan uh, black ink which is a permanent ink and I had some stamps from uh, this one is from Action which had uh, the right prompts like destination and bon voyage and journey and that kind of thing so I'm using uh, that to give uh, a bit more playfulness on my little canvas and I also had used another script stamp of which I'm not sure which brand it was. And this is an acrylic uh, spray paint I made myself to create a bit of splatters. And then I decided to use the Stazon ink pad for a bit more grunginess around the edges. And uh, for my quote, I uh, pick a sticker from uh, Tim Holtz which said uh, which says the journey is the destination and I place it on top the edges of that sticker I color with the uh, black Faber Castell artist pit pen and I decided I need a bit more drops of the black paint and then I just add uh, the date and my signature. So that's it for my little canvas for the mid-month mini mission inspiration. Hope you like it and see you again very soon. Bye bye.